Hey guys, welcome to the video here today. I'm going to take you inside my computer and I'm gonna show you how to set up a retargeting campaign on Facebook. Now I use retargeting uh, for affiliate marketing products, uh, but the strategy I'm gonna show you will obviously work as well if you have your own products for sale or what have you. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to serve ads to people who have already hit our website and they've already hit our website because they're coming from organic traffic sources. Uh, so what this allows us to do is to stay present, right? To stay in front of our uh, potential leads. Uh, think about like the big companies like the Apples and the Coca-Colas and the Nikes. They spend millions and millions of that, tens and hundreds of millions of dollars uh, on advertising. Now, are they saying each advertisement that they run is going to lead to a direct sale from everyone who sees it? Of course not. But if you constantly see Nike and Coca-Cola commercials over and over and over again, uh, when it comes time to go buy a new pair of running shoes or it comes time to treat yourself to a soda or whatever, uh, chances are you're going to buy a Coca-Cola or a Nike because you've seen their, their ads. Now, that's kind of what we're going to do. Uh, but on a smaller scale. So basically anytime someone hits our website, uh, they're going to uh, show some intent for buying uh, whatever it is that we're, we're, we're promoting, right? Whether it's our product or affiliate product. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually create an audience by pixeling them on Facebook. And then we can just consistently serve ads to these people who have already shown interest in buying our products over and over and over again. Uh, so it's kind of like we are um, creating that omnipresence, that ever presence, uh, approach that, that the big companies do with their marketing campaigns. Uh, but we're just doing it at a much smaller scale. And instead of spending millions of dollars, we're spending like three, four, five dollars a day. So let me show you how that works. Uh, so basically I, uh, am using this strategy right now to promote legendary marketer. And towards the end of this video, I'll actually show you my legendary marketer earnings so you can see how this is working. Uh, but it's, it's pretty simple. First of all, you need a website. Obviously, you need somewhere uh, for people to go to. So this is how my legendary marketer website uh, looks. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. This is the home page where all the traffic goes to. Uh, we talk to them about the opportunity to learn how they can live the laptop lifestyle when they click now. Obviously, I'm going to collect their email. And then we're going to send them over to a bridge page. Bridge page is just a very simple page uh, that talks more about the opportunity uh, in this two, little two and a half, three minute video. And I give them a very specific call to action. I tell them to start now. And when they click start now, they're going to go over to the video sales letter for Legendary Marketer, which I'm promoting. And that is where you're going to see my uh, affiliate link, my affiliate ID in that URL. So if anyone goes and buys at this point, I'm going to be credited with the sale. It's a very simple two page website, also known as a bridge page, very popular in affiliate marketing. So that's actually uh, the website that's going to be pixeled and we're going to build an audience uh, based uh, off of people who hit that, uh, that website, right? Because if someone comes over to that website, they're going to be in interested. They're going to show intent. Uh, so the way we get people over to that website is two different ways. First and foremost, um, we have this uh, YouTube channel uh, where I just create a bunch of content that attracts people who are learning, interested in learning how to become a better marketer. And then of course, all of these videos have a very specific call to action in it where I say, hey, go check out my website if you wanna learn more. Uh, the other thing I'm using right now, if I'll go ahead and pull this uh, up really quickly here, is uh, I'm using TikTok as well. And TikTok is super low hanging fruit, guys. So uh, if you look at my TikTok profile, yeah, I have 26,000 followers right now, but I mean, you could start with zero and start getting views. Same type of thing. I just create content that attracts people who might be interested in high ticket affiliate marketing or learning digital marketing. Uh, and then I have the call to action, go check out my profile. And you're gonna see in my profile, I have two links. First, this link up here, uh, which is the YouTube channel. And then this clickable link, which takes them back over to the 15 day challenge, which once again is, is my website, okay? So basically the way this works is pretty simple. Uh, I build all my websites on ClickFunnels. Uh, you can see here is the actual back dashboard of the website. Uh, I really like using ClickFunnels um, because it makes everything super simple. You can get a 14 day free trial if you wanna check them out. I'll, I'll link that somewhere around this video for you. Um, but anyways, when I build out um, my website, if you, if you go over to ClickFunnels here and go over to the settings tab of your funnel or your website, you're gonna see an opportunity to place your Facebook pixel and that's gonna go right here in your header tracking code. 
So basically what, the, what this is, this is a simple line of code that you get from the Facebook Ads Manager. And when you install this on your website, then Facebook can track everybody who hits your website. Um, and if you have a Facebook account, you have a Facebook Ads Manager, very simple uh, to do. Um, now this ads manager changes all the time. So if it looks different, it, it, I swear it looks different every time I log in here. Uh, but basically the first step is you actually have to install the pixel on your website so, so Facebook can start keeping an eye on the traffic, right? The way you do that is you go on these little dots right now and you go over to the events manager. It's gonna bring you over to a little section uh, that looks something like this. Um, it might look a little bit different if you've never set up your pixel before. Uh, but basically what you're looking is you're, you're looking for the pixel code. And uh, if you scroll down here, the way you find that right now is if you go to add events and I click on uh, from a new website, it's gonna allow me to install the code manually. And this is the Facebook pixel code that I'm gonna copy. Uh, then once again, we just go back over to ClickFunnels, paste it in the head tracking code section, and then just make sure you save and update your settings. Now, anyone who hits your website, Facebook can track it. And if you, if you go back to my website here, you can see uh, that I have this little Facebook pixel identifier installed and you can see that it lights up. It's detecting that my pixel is on this page. So that's the first step. So once again, now we're gonna drive traffic uh, for free organically using YouTube and TikTok. And then we're gonna get a bunch of people to come over to our website. Some of them are gonna opt in, some of them are not. Uh, a few of them are gonna buy, but most won't. So what we wanna do is we wanna serve retargeting ads. We wanna keep sending them ads until they buy, right? Because when they, they find our content, uh, and then they come over to our website. That's pretty strong intent to buy. Um, sure, we're going to send emails as well for the people that uh, that e whose email we captured. Uh, but this advertising, right? Keeping if they if they go onto Facebook and they see our face again, that's actually going to help the performance of our emails because we're staying relevant. And they're like, man, I'm seeing this guy or girl everywhere. I'm going to read his email, right? So it helps everything perform a lot better. And, and once again, it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Uh, so what we're going to do is after we have uh, that pixel installed on our website, the next thing we want to do is go over to the audiences section here. And so basically what we want to do is we want to create a, a custom audience uh, that consists of people who have already hit our website. And there's a couple of different ways uh, to do this. Uh, but basically what I would do or the way I usually do it is I'm going to go ahead and create a new audience and I'm going to create a custom audience. And what I want to do is... Um, I wanna basically create uh, an audience of people who've hit my website. And what I wanna do is I want to select people who have visited specific pages in the last 30 days. And basically, so what this means is I'm gonna create an audience of people who've vis visited my website in the last 30 days. Then what I'll do is I'll just copy the base URL, right? Like, so each individual page is gonna have the, this extended URL. But basically, I'll just copy the base URL right there, right? And I'll go ahead and uh, say people who visited specific web, web pages, anytime the URL contains this part of the URL, that's gonna create the audience, right? Because every page on my website, no matter which page they hit, it's gonna have that URL in there because it's the base URL. Uh, so I'll just call this hit 15 day challenge. And then I always put the duration, 30 days. Okay, and I might create a second audience for people who've hit uh, my website in 180 days, right? So once again, this is creating an audience of people who are obviously interested because they found me organically, they've clicked over to my website, they may have entered their email or not. But the bottom line is this is people who already know me. They already have shown intent in buying whatever it is that I'm promoting. So the cool thing about this is I can advertise to these people. I know they're highly targeted people. Plus, I don't have to compete on interests with all the other people on Facebook. I'm just telling Facebook, hey, just advertise to these people, right? So this is why this is so powerful and so effective. So after I get this set up, of course, I'll go ahead and create the audience. Now, obviously, I already have this audience created, so I'm not going to do that. Now, what I can do is I can create these traffic retargeting ads, or I can create conversion ads if I want, doesn't really matter, where I am advertising only to people who have visited my website. And you can see here, I'm not spending a whole lot. Now, I'm testing a bunch of different ones right now. You don't need to run you know, half a dozen or, or 10 different retargeting campaigns if you don't want to. Um, you can just run one for like three or $4 a day and it's gonna be fine. But I'm testing a bunch of different ones right now and you can see, I mean, I'm getting like uh, 84 cents a click, 85 cents a click, 73 cents a click. 
and, and I'm only spending three or four dollars, it's five dollars a day at the most. And but what is happening here is I'm staying relevant in front of people's minds, in front of people's faces, right? Like I'm always showing up on Facebook, giving different angles, overcoming objections, uh, showing social proof for the for the product that I'm promoting, right? And, and once again, this is also helping my emails convert better. So the way to do that is pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and create a campaign. And once again, you can create a conversion campaign or a traffic campaign. It doesn't, I don't, it just test it, right? That's kind of the deal here. You got to just test, see works, what works best for you. So I'll just go ahead and create a traffic um, campaign and go ahead and continue. And what this is going to do, is going to open a new ad creation series. Um, I'll call this uh, maybe traffic for my goal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, um, uh, a video that I'm going to show people that gets people back over to my website. So in this case, maybe I'll do a testimonial video. I'll take testimonials uh, from people who've gone through the 15 day challenge of legendary marketer, which is the product that I'm promoting. And I'll just serve them a bunch of testimonials, right? So I'll call that testimonials. I'll turn on my campaign budget optimization. Uh, I'll set my, uh, my uh, daily budget for, let's just say three bucks. Pretty simple right there. And I'll go ahead and click next. Uh, when I go into the ad set section here, this is where um, I can call this whatever I want, um, but uh, we'll call it like uh, retarget 30 days because this is only people who visited my site in the last 30 days, right? And so when I go down to this audience section here, I'm gonna go into the custom audience. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for hit 15 day I don't remember what I called the original one. Yeah, so basically I'm going to select everyone who visited the 15-day challenge website, which is my website, in the last 30 days, right? Um, now, I'm only going to want people who are from top-tier countries. In this case, I'm only going to do the United States. So if someone uh, found my uh, content on YouTube and they're, say, from India and they come over to my site, um, I won't retarget them. I'm only going to retarget people who are, are from the United States. I can select, I can change the ages, ages if I want. Uh, usually what I do is I'll do like 22 to like, and it doesn't really matter. There's really no limit, but I'll just do like 64 or 63, right? So someone's 80 years old, um, they're probably not going to be a good fit for this. Uh, so I'll do uh, basically anyone from the United States who's 22 to 64. Uh, I'll just use automatic placements. And uh, that's pretty much all you have to do for the ad set because once again, we're telling Facebook we want uh, to serve these ads to people who were in that audience we created based off that pixel. Uh, and then if we go to the next section, this is where we're going to actually create our ad. And once again, I'm just going to upload a video. I'm going to have some sort of call to action in the headline, and it's going to de it's going to depend on you know what your retargeting video or ad actually is. Uh, but yeah, you just create the ad down here, just like you would create any other ad. I'm going to uh, add media. I could upload a video. Uh, I might add a video. Let's see. Let's just pull one out of here just to give an example. Here's videos that I've already uploaded, and in this case, um, this one is the testimonial one. Basically, I introduce the testimonials and just play a, 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 a testimonial montage from people who've actually gone through the 15-day challenge. So that's going to be my video. Um, and the headline here, I might say something like, best $7 I ever spent. That's going to be my cut little headline down there. And then I might say up here, I might do something like C oops, bear with me here. It's running a little slow. I might say something like C what other folks are saying about the business builder challenge right because testimonials like that they're very powerful that social proof is very powerful um so so that might be my ad right that's just going to be my simple uh retargeting ad and what i'm going to do is if we go back over to my funnel here I'm going to go to the steps of my funnel. What I have is I have this mock-up of Legendary Marketer's sales page. I call it the offer stack. And basically, I'm just going to copy that link, and that's going to be my link uh, uh, for the ad there. 
and I'll show you this page in just a second here. Uh, basically, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add this link to my ad and uh, make sure people are going to my website. I'll put the website URL right there and uh, I could select my button, learn more is fine, I could say sign up or whatever. But that's how I create my ad. And once again, we're spending about three bucks a day on this. We're only advertising uh, to people who, who have already shown interest in the product we're promoting because they hit our website. Um, and this is just helping stay relevant, staying in front of them. Um, and it, once everything's right and you got it just the way you want, you just go ahead and hit publish. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do that. And that's, I mean, it's pretty simple, guys. This is so super powerful because it's such a, a super, uh, I don't want to say cheap, but a, a super efficient way to advertise because we're only advertising to hot prospects. And as you can see, guys, here's some of my earnings over the last uh, uh, 30 days. I had a pretty good day yesterday. It's been a pretty good week so far. Uh, we're turning around uh, $18,000 uh, is our run rate for the month, but you can see that's pretty high right now. Uh, over the last 30 days, we've, we've made uh, a little over $10,000. So this is working, guys, and especially with the opportunity uh, of TikTok uh, to get that little hanging fruit, that free organic traffic over to your website. Uh, you can use that TikTok traffic to seed a Facebook group. You can use that TikTok traffic to seed a YouTube channel. You don't have to worry about not having traffic now thanks to TikTok. So this is an amazing opportunity. Um, if you want to go ahead and... Um, promote Legendary Marketer, which I, obviously I'm doing right now, and I think it's a great opportunity, uh, especially for beginners, because they do give you training. Training. Uh, just go over to my15daychallenge.com, opt in. Uh, I'm gonna send additional training uh, to that email that you give me, so that's very valuable. Uh, plus, I'll also send you links uh, when you opt in. Uh, you can actually join my free Facebook group, that way you get even more training. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and if you have any questions, just reach out and let me know. I answer all my emails, and uh, hopefully this was helpful. We'll see you all very soon, bye now.